Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me for the last video of my weekly series for Fusion 360 custom valves and Plant 3D and custom valves. So beginning of the week we started making this valve. Yesterday we exported it to DWG and today I'm looking at that same DWG uh, that was downloaded from the Fusion uh, web app. Now. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's an issue, but it's come in as a tenth of its uh, size that it should be. So I've logged that with Autodesk and see what they come back with. But in the meantime, I'm going to scale everything, base point zero zero, and go up by 10. And what I need to do here now is W block it out. Uh, base point zero zero, select objects, so all, and I'm going to put it on my desktop as a 300 millimeter valve, and it's in millimeters, and we go OK. So I'm just going to close it out, and now I have a new block on my desktop. Inside a Plant 3D project, I go new drawing, and this is uh, I'm going to call it valves 300 millimeter. And then what I want to do is just using the insert command, browse the desktop, and using the insert of the 2020, uh, insert it at 00. zero. Okay and switch to wireframe and then there it is. Now this is the part we just need to check. So it's 350 wide. I need to do a command called plant part convert. Select the block, add a port, put it at one end going away from the valve, accept it, add in location of the other side going away from the valve accept it and then here you have to click on exit and now we have that block in there and it's a plant part so i'm just going to close it out then we jump into the spec editor and i go to my valves um, catalog but what i've done also as well is i've just made just a, a quick and nasty uh, metric spec for me to work with so metric flanges and metric pipe Depending on where you're watching from, you might be in Imperial or in Metric. So under the catalog editor of the catalog I want, I go create new component, custom, select valves in the pull down and select flanged ends because that's what it is. And then I switch over to Metric because I'm working in Metric and the rest should be fine. And I go create. So with these settings now, the ports, I tick that on, so all ports are the same, all ports are going to be raised face and yes, and all ports are going to be uh, E as the pressure class. And the long description, I'm just going to call it AAA, just so it's at the top of any lists, but you can put in whatever obviously. And under this sizes button, the model, it's obviously not connected to a model, so we just need to navigate to the plant project where that drawing is and go open and then it'll find that 300 millimeter valve for me. And same thing over here, the connection ports, so all ports have the same properties. And my nominal diameter for matching pipe is 323.85. And my long description, again, I'll just make it here, AAA, and then go save to catalog. Now it's part of the AS valves catalog. Go to the spec editor, pull up the valves catalog, sort from top to bottom, and I've got my AAA spec here. And I go add to spec. So now I save that and exit. And when it comes up saying, do you wanna save it? Uh, I'm not changing the catalog. Now, coming back into our plant drawing, so new drawing, and I'm just call it one. And then I'm just going to get plant to redo the 
uh, palette here for it and we click on flan on that uh, valve place it and you can see we get the drip glyphs click on it click on the plus and the plus on the other side and you can see there that we have that valve and if I switch to 2d wireframe you can see it again in here okay and if we stick it in the middle of the line again same thing we can rotate it orientate it whichever way we need to okay now this is good if you want to see the detail it was brought up when I posted one of the videos on LinkedIn that someone did mention that the more you put into these plant projects these custom valves the the heavier the model is going to get so bear in mind if you're going to have a lot of these it might be easier just to use simplified valves rather than more detailed valves because that way your model's not going to get too heavy um, you know less risk of crashing and, and any other issues that might come with it so if the client really wants detailed maybe have a think about using separate models for the detailed valves uh, in another file for Navisworks possibly um, but again you know this is quite lightweight because there's not much in it but the heavier this model gets and the more valves I put in it the you know the performance is just going to get worse so again keep that in mind so thanks for watching uh, if you liked the video thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down uh, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos and hopefully it's been informative for you. I know the, the custom valves and custom catalogs is usually an issue with plant users, but uh, you know, like anything, the more you do it, the, the easier it's gonna become. Um, and you'll just get, you'll end up becoming a gun at it and it'll be just as easy as doing normal valves as it will be doing uh, detailed valves. So hopefully it's been informative and I will catch you next week for some more uh, Autodesk 2020, maybe a little bit of Infoworks, maybe a bit of Civil. Uh, have a think about it over the weekend and then I will catch you next week. See you later.